This vacuum valve is compatible with newer housings that feature a spare 1 half 20 accessory port. Additionally, it can be installed in place of the 1 quarter 20 mount featured on all DSLR housings produced since 2009. In this video, we'll go through the steps involved in adding the valve to both systems and how to use the vacuum pump. In the box, you'll find a vacuum valve for 1 half inch holes, plug with retainer, seal ring, thread spacer, which is only used when replacing a DSLR top mount, NPT nut, and a vacuum pump with gauge, which is only included in the kit. Remove the accessory port plug using an 11 16 inch wrench. Once removed, place in a sealed plastic bag and keep with your spare parts. Make sure that the seal ring and valve plug retainer are in place on the valve body. Do not lubricate the seal ring prior to installation. Insert the valve into the threaded hole. The valve does not thread directly into the housing. Rotate the valve so that the lock release is easily accessible. Hold the valve in the desired orientation while attaching the nut on the inside of the housing. While holding the valve, tighten the nut with a wrench until snug. Do not over tighten. Remove the plastic nut retainer using a thin, flat-headed screwdriver. Remove the nut from the top mount with a 5 8 inch wrench. Remove the top mount by pushing it upwards from the inside of the housing. Thread the nut onto the top mount and keep all three pieces with your spare parts. Check that the top mount location is clean and free of debris. Make sure that the seal ring and valve plug retainer are in place on the valve body. Do not lubricate the seal ring prior to installation. Insert the valve into the hole and rotate so that the lock release is easily accessible. While holding the valve in place, set the housing down on its front face. Insert the thread spacer around the valve's threads to keep it centered in the hole. Attach the NPT nut on the inside of the housing and tighten with a wrench until snug. Do not over tighten. Install your camera in the housing according to the housing's instructions. Press the vacuum valve lock release and remove the plug from the valve.
attach the vacuum pump tubing insert into the valve and push until it clicks and locks in place. Rotate the vacuum gauge so that it can be easily read while pumping. Pump the hand pump until the vacuum gauge reaches 5 to 10 inches of mercury. Watch and listen for leaks. A leak is indicated by movement of the gauge towards zero after you finish pumping. Significant leaks can generally be found within a few minutes. If desired, leave the pump attached for several hours or overnight and then check the gauge has not moved. Very small leaks will become more evident on the gauge as more time passes. When you're ready to go in the water, press the lock release and remove the vacuum pump from the valve. Install the valve plug into the valve and push until it locks in place. The housing is only waterproof with the vacuum valve plug in place. Always replace the valve plug before putting the housing in water. With a vacuum pulled on the housing, you're now ready to perform your final check and get in the water. Turn on the camera and check all control functions. Make sure the camera can take a photo and record a video clip. Check battery life and open storage space on your memory card. If you're using an external flash, make sure it can be triggered. Submerge the housing in a freshwater tank dedicated to underwater photography equipment. Visually confirm there are no signs of water intrusion. One sign of a leak is a steady stream of bubbles coming from one of the housing seals. Now you're ready for a swim. Thoroughly rinse your housing with fresh water and dry it prior to opening. It is not possible to open the housing normally when it's under a vacuum. The vacuum must be released prior to opening the housing. Press the vacuum valve lock release and remove the plug from the valve. Attach the pump to the valve and press the release lever on the pump. If the pump is not available, insert a small blunt object into the center of the valve and gently press to allow the air to enter the housing. 